Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cherie, and we're with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And um, we're here today to explain to you a really critical difference that a lot of people are confused about. The difference between network management and throttling. With all of the carriers now offering unlimited data plans, these terms are being thrown about and we're seeing them mixed up all over the place. Oh, <laughs> we're constantly trying to educate on just what the differences are and what the real impacts might be in your travels. So, so let's explain them. All right, so network management applies to all of the new unlimited data plans. But the carriers have had this in place for quite a while on any plan that had an unlimited aspect. And what it means is after you use a certain amount of data in a month, your traffic may be deprioritized when you're on a congested tower. And that sounds like a lot of techno babble, doesn't it? What this means in reality, let's, let's kind of think about cars on a highway. And let's say this highway has a high occupancy lane or a carpool lane. Now, when all of the traffic, if it's not rush hour, it doesn't matter what lane you're in. All the traffic is moving at full speed because there's no, there's not much traffic to slow it down. Now, during rush hour, it makes sense that if you qualify for that carpool lane, that you should use it because more than likely you're gonna be able to keep moving at a faster speed than all the rest of the traffic that's now bumper to bumper. It's very similar to network management. So just think of it this way. After you pre uh, cross your threshold, and for AT&T and Verizon, it's set right now at 22 gigabytes a month. For Sprint, it's 23, and T-Mobile, it's 30. Once you use that cap on each line, it applies by line, not to the total account, you're now no longer eligible to use the carpool lane, which means when the towers are congested, i.e. it's rush hour, you're having to be with all the normal traffic going bumper to bumper, and it may only be for a short period of time. It's not for the rest of your billing period. That slowdown's only going to occur when the carrier needs to adjust the flow of traffic. And those that have not used as much data get priority during those times of congestion. Hopefully that makes it a little clearer. Okay, so now that's network management. What is throttling? And a lot of people get these confused. So throttling means that after you've used a certain amount of data for the month, you are slowed down for the remainder of your billing period, regardless of how much other traffic there is on the highway. So you know, using the highway analogy, you're running down the road and you hit your 10 gigabyte hotspot limit for the month. And now suddenly you're going 600 kilobits per second, you're going 10 miles an hour on the highway, regardless of whether there's any other traffic or not. This makes it a lot more frustrating to have these sort of throttling limits come into play, but fortunately they're not on all the way across the board on all your usage. It's on um, Verizon right now they're throttling. After you use 10 gigabytes of hotspot data, you're dropped down from full speed, whatever the network can bear, down to just 600 kilobits per second um, on hotspots and on smartphones when you're tethering off of them. On AT&T, they're doing the same thing, but only on when you're tethering off of a phone or a tablet. And uh, you know, other carriers and other uh, systems do similar things as well. Now, there's one other thing about throttling that people get very confused about, and they're afraid that if they hit that limit, their entire device, their entire line will be slowed down. So take Verizon, for example, you've got that 10 gigabyte hotspot tethering limit. If you hit that 10 gigabyte limit, only your hotspot usage is slowed down to 600 kilobits per second for the remainder of the month. Your the usage on your phone itself is still full speed ahead, subject, of course, to network management when you get to that 22 gigabyte point. Now there's a, another slight variant of throttling, um, which is more of a speed cap. So some uh, carriers like Cricket, they have a maximum speed line that, you know, 8 megabits per second, that is just a maximum speed. You can't go any faster than that. You don't have a limit that you can run out of, but you can never go full, full speed. Then that's throttling. <laughs> Now, we expect the carriers will continue to shake up the market. That's what they do 
nothing is constant in this industry. If you'd like the latest information on what unlimited data plans are out there and what the current terms and conditions are, check our unlimited guide. It's at mobileinternetinfo.com slash unlimited. And we keep that updated as all this changes. Enjoy. Thank you.